fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> With his faithful Indian companion, Toto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Faster, boy, faster! I will still boy! It was nearly midnight when Sheriff John Bartlett rode to his fiddleback ranch with two prisoners in tow. Who are they? John knew that the sound of their horses had awakened his son, because a moment later, the back door of the ranch house opened, and he heard the boy call. That you, Dad? Yep. Light the lamp, Matt. We'll be in there in a minute. Sure. <laughs> All right, you buzzards, hit the dirt. This is where we bed down. All right. All right, get going. Who'd you catch, Dad? Uh, a couple of long riders. Snaky-looking critters, ain't they? seen these men before. Hanging around Harker City. Yeah, that's likely, sir. They're part of the gang that's been robbing the Spencer stage line. I wouldn't doubt it. Where'd you pick them up? We're near Cowskull River. I trailed them from that hole that night before last. Well, you vomits might as well sit down. You ain't going anyplace yet. All right. How come you stopped off here at the ranch, Dan? Eh, hey, too late to ride into town tonight. <laughs> kind of tired out. Covered a lot of ground rounding up these buzzards. Before them... Other two gave me the slip. I heard these into jail first thing in the morning. Yeah. You get some sleep, Dad. I'll keep watch over them. They won't give you any trouble, Matt. I've got their hands tied with the raw hide. Well, they're not so tough. Just run of the Rimrock Owl Hoots. It's the trouble. Guess I didn't corral the head man. That right, boys? You're one of them smart badge toters. Figure it out for yourself. Still on the prod, eh? It might go a little easier with you, farmers, if you told me who your boss is. Bet you wish you knew. Maybe. I guess you're forgetting about that guard you're getting the hold up. The charge against both of you is murder. That means a rope and a tight one around both your scrawny necks. We'll never hang. I wouldn't be too sure if I were you. Want to bet on it? Five dollars will get you ten. If I was a gambler, I'd take that bet. Somebody coming, Dad. I'll see you. Wait a minute. Turn down the light before you open that door. Yeah. Can't be too careful. Two of the bunch got away. They might have trained me. Keep your gun handy, Matt. I will. Who's there? Mort Spencer. <laughs> well, don't you recognize me, Matt? Oh, inside? Oh, yeah. Come on in, Mr. Spencer. What's the idea? Wait, then? I'll turn up the lamp here. Hello, Mort. John, I... Well, what's this? I'm glad you came by, Mort. These are two other gents have been looting your stages for the past months. So you nailed them, huh? Ah, uh, good work, Sheriff. Well, at least it's a beginning. I'll run the rest of them down. I'm sure you will. 
Well, you sneaking pole kids, what have you got to say for yourselves? Same thing you'd say, mister, if you was where we are. Nothing. Hmm. Not very anxious to talk, are they, John? They'll talk all right. Wait till they spend a few days in jail. Never saw the gunslinger yet that wouldn't squeal when he saw a hang rope. Taking him into town tonight? I'm going to wait till sun up. I need some sleep. I'm in the saddle for two days. Matt will keep an eye on the critters while I rest. Oh, no need to put the boy to that trouble, Sheriff. I'll stay here. Well, watching glutes like these ain't your job, Mort. Why not? They've been robbing my stages, haven't they? I'm as anxious to see them safely behind bars as you are. Well, maybe you're right. I am took it out. And watching two hyenas is a pretty big job for Matt. Oh, Paul, I can well, watch Well, both of you get some sleep. Yep. I'll sit right here with my gun in easy reach. Mr. Spencer's right, Matt. Come on, let's hit the hay. Got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. If you want some coffee, Mr. Spencer, there's a pot full in the back of the stove. Oh, thanks, Matt. I'll get along all right. Good night, Sheriff. Good night, Maud. Come on, Matt. If you Jaspers have an idea, you might get loose. Remember, I can trigger this gun before you can move. The sheriff and his son had retired to their cots in the bedroom. A few moments later, they were both asleep. But like most men who lived in the West, they slept lightly. It was Matt who awoke first about an hour later when his keen ears caught the scuff of a heavy boot on the floor in the next room. What's that? The pressure of his hand on his father's shoulder awakened the sheriff instantly. Dad. What is it, Matt? Somebody walking. Next room. Spencer? Don't think so. Sounds like somebody's sneaking. No reason for him to sneak. You're right. Got your gun, Matt? Right here. Good. They're coming this way. Watch that door knob. If it turns, we start blasting. The doorknob. It's turning. It's one of the mudlaws. Cut him down, Matt. What the? Did, did we get him, Dad? I don't know. Too dark to tell. I could have hit the floor, but I don't know if he was... Who fired those shots? It wasn't me, Dad. Spencer, strike a match so we can see what happened. Sure. What? Look at that, Dad. It's the men you brought in. Yes. But how'd they get loose? John, and... John, are you all right? Come here, Mort. I was shooting in the dark. Couldn't tell whether I... Ah, I guess I dropped them all right. Yeah, they did? Did as a labor bee. Matt and I opened up and they tried to sneak in here. But it was your lead to nail them. Oh, they're sneaking sidewinders. Dad had their hands tied. How'd they get... I must have dozed off a little bit after you two went to bed. One of these fellows slipped his bonds, I guess, because the first thing I knew, he was holding a gun on me. You can't figure that one. Those rawhide ropes I used to tie him was... Then they hit me over the head and knocked me cold. Next thing I knew was the noise of your guns. That brought me around. So I grabbed this extra gun I carried my shoulder holster and started shooting. It's a good thing you did, Maud. Well, dead owl hoots are better than live ones. Yeah, but I kind of wish these had stayed alive just a little bit longer. Why? Might have got some information out of them. Found out who's the head of the gang. Uh, you'll find out someday, Sheriff. In the meantime, I'm glad these two are dead. Yes, I guess you're right. What are we going to do with them, Dad? Can't leave them here. Well, of course not. Come sun up, we'll take the critters over to Cowskull Creek and bury them. Cowskull Creek? Is the land over that way part of your ranch, Sheriff? Sure. It's all part of the fiddle bag. Good grazing land, too. But I guess a couple of our hoot graves won't spoil it. Cow Skull Creek. You mind if I go along, Sheriff? Maybe I can help. Well, Matt and I can do the job all right, Mort. But uh, if you want to see these varmints planted, it's all right with me. No, thanks. Well, Matt, as long as we're going to wait around till morning, how about some of that coffee you were talking about? Oh, sure. I'll heat it up right away. It was shortly after sunrise the following morning when the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and Dan Reed reined up their horses near Cow Skull Creek. Oh, 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 oh. Now, what's happening over there? That's just what I was curious about, Dan. Those men are digging for something. You see what's in spring wagon. Men dig grave. Yes, I believe you're right, Tonto. It does look like a burial party. Funny place to bury anybody. Right out there in the middle of the prairie. It is strange, Dan. Especially when there's a cemetery near town. Over five miles from here. 
Maybe those men need some help. You and Hunter ride over there, and I'll wait for you here. Sure. Uh, Come on, Victor. Come on, Scout. Oh, oh, Scout. Oh, Scout. Oh, Scout. Hello. Hello there. My friend and I saw you from the river trail. You need any help? No, thanks. It's a shame. You'll be dead, all right. Graves are ready, Dad. Like no, uh, Spencer and I will carry him. You'll be better to shovel dirt back here. Well, it's all the same to you, Sheriff. I'd rather handle the shovel. It doesn't make a bit of difference. You help me get him out of the wagon, Matt. Then. Sure. Are the men you're burying friends of yours? No, just a couple of no-good owl hoots. Dad will let poison him. All right, Matt. Sweet now. Yep. I don't know that man, Dan. Mm-hmm. Who is he, Tonto? Well, him lawman, Sheriff Bartlett. Young fella, his son. He not know other man. Now look, he's putting pieces of rock or dirt in his pocket. That's right. I wonder why he's doing that. All right, Spencer. Here they are. Come in with dirt. Yeah, this is a job I really enjoy. <laughs> no, I guess there's nothing wrong, Tonto. Just a sheriff burying a couple of dead outlaws. Ah. Uh. I'd still like to know why that other man keeps putting those pieces of rock in his pocket. Why he does it when the sheriff isn't looking. Uh, me not know. If we can't be of any help, Sheriff, my friend and I'll be riding along. Sure. Thanks for your offer anyway, son. Come on, Victor. Get him up, Scout. find out. Tonto was right. It was a lawman, a son, another man, bearing a couple of dead outlaws. Oh, is that so? Ah, uh, lawman, Sheriff Bartlett. Bartlett, huh? Ah. Uh. And this must be part of the Fiddleback Ranch. That's right. I'm glad to know there's nothing wrong. The sheriff is burying dead outlaws. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. And there was one thing I thought was kind of funny. What was that, Dan? The man who was helping the sheriff and his son, they called him Spencer. He was helping dig the graves. But when the sheriff wasn't looking, he kept putting pieces of dirt or rock in his pockets. Oh, that's strange. Oh, well, I guess it's none of our business. Are we going to keep on riding south? Later on, Dan. I want to wait here for a few minutes until after the outlaws are buried. Why? Is anything wrong? Probably not. But I'm curious to know why Mr. Spencer is so interested in dirt and rocks. As soon as they leave, we'll take a look at those graves. Later that afternoon, the office of his stage line in Harker City, Mort Spencer greeted a visitor. One of the boys down at the cafe said you were looking for me, Mort. Yeah, that's right, Cal. Sit down. Yeah. Special job? Very special. It has to be a quick one. Yeah? What is it? Use your rifle. Go to the empty storeroom above Kelly's feed store. There's a window. Looks out right over Main Street. I know that. Who's the armory I'm supposed to nail? Yeah, don't worry about that. I'll be right beside you. I'll point him out. Come on, let's get started. Sheriff John Bartlett and his son Matt had ridden into Harker City from the Fiddleback Ranch. They reined up in front of the sheriff's office, which was directly opposite Kelly's feet. Oh. Hey, we got some work to do in the office, Matt. You better stable the horses. Sure, Dad. We won't be riding home for two or three hours yet, and then we'll have to clean up. A... Oh. Oh. Dad! Dad, what's wrong? Rifle right bullet. Chester. I'm done for, Matt. Who could have done it? That'll, that'll be your job, son. Find out. You will have to take over. I'll find out. Maybe it's the last thing I ever do. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Everyone in Harker City was enraged about the murder of Sheriff Bartlett. Within a few moments, there was a large crowd gathered outside the lawman's office. Shot him down in cold blood. Where'd the shot come from? Anybody run, know? How are we going to run down the critter? We don't know who did it. Got to have a new sheriff first. Young Matt's the one to take his paw's place. There's Matt now. What about it, Matt? What are you going to do? Find the sneaking outlaw that shot my father. That's right. That's the way to do it. But... Paul's murder leaves the county and Harker City without a sheriff. The first thing we've got to do is appoint somebody to take his place. You already figured that out, Matt. You're the man to take your paw. Right. All right, I will take it. And I don't mind telling you folks I want the job. Less than an hour later, Tonto and Dan Reed reined up at the camp that they and the Lone Ranger had made near Cowskull River. Ho, 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 Scott, ho, 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 Did you find out anything? Well, not much about Mr. Spencer. But just before we got to town, there was a murder. The sheriff was killed. You mean Sheriff Bartlett? Yeah. Well, how did it happen? I don't know. When Tonto and I rode into town, there was a big crowd in front of the sheriff's office. Somebody said he'd been killed about ten minutes before that. Ah. Uh, doctors say lawman killed by rifle bullet. Did anybody see the murder? I guess not. The people in town have appointed Matt Bartlett to be the new sheriff. That's a good idea. I heard him tell a crowd that the first thing he was going to do was find out who killed his father. Good. I'm glad we stopped here. Matt may need some help. But, gee, all this doesn't have anything to do with Mr. Spencer, does it? It may, Dan. I have an idea it has a lot to do with Mr. Spencer's habit of collecting rocks. Hello. Ah. Uh-huh. You know where the government to say office is in Harker City? Uh-huh. Me know. You and Dan ride back into town and have them make a test of one of these rocks we picked up where the outlaws were buried. Here. Test? For what? The sheriff wasn't murdered without a reason, Dan. If we can find that reason, we'll be that much nearer the murderer. Golly. And what you do, Kimasabi? I'll ride into town, too, but not until after sundown. If you get back here first, wait for me. Uh-huh. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Victor. <laughs> In the meantime, Mort Spencer was giving some new instructions to Cal Thompson, his gunman. That was a good job, Cal. All of my jobs are good. But I still don't get the idea. Why'd you want to get rid of the sheriff? It was necessary. You mean because he trailed Red and Pete and corralled them? <laughs> Shucks. If they're just tied up out at Fiddlebank Ranch, like you say, we can turn them loose any time. Well, of course. Then why plug the old critter? He was harmless. Say, how about me riding out to Fiddleback and helping the boys get loose? Uh, no, no, no. I have something else for you to do. The boys are still out there, aren't they? Well, sure, sure. But you can go out later. Right now, I want you to round up every man in town who's ever worked for me. Tell them all they'll earn ten dollars apiece. For doing what? Marching in a parade. What? I'll explain. When a sheriff dies, according to the law, a temporarily lawman is supported in his place. Sure. That's what Bartlett's kid Matt is doing now, taking his old man's place. But if the people aren't satisfied with the man who's appointed, they can put in somebody else. I guess so. I don't know much about that stuff. Well, I'd be a much better sheriff than that boy, Matt Bartlett. You? Why not? Uh, I don't know. You're already robbing your own stage line, rustling cattle and high grading. Guess you might as well be your own lawman, too. I'm glad you agree. Now, listen. Get those men together as many as you can. Get some signs painted. Spencer for sheriff, understand? Sure, I know what to do. When does this big popularity parade for Mort Spencer begin? About 10 o'clock. March down the street to the sheriff's office. I'll be in the crowd, and if you yell loud enough, I'll make a speech. I get it. Oh, uh, yes, one more thing, Cal. Huh? You seen young Matt within the last hour or so? He was in the cafe talking about forming a posse to trail his pa's killer the last time I saw him. Oh, good. I want to have a talk with Matt. I'll go down to the cafe. Spencer? I guess I don't have to tell you how sorry I am about your father's death. He was a fine man. The best sheriff this county ever had. I think so. I'm going to run down the man who killed him. 
It takes forever. Any idea who it was, Matt? No. But I've discovered where the shot came from. Whoever fired it was in the window above Kelly's feed store. Is that so? Why would anyone want to kill the sheriff? Only thing I can figure is it was part of that gang you captured. They must have trailed us into town. Well, I'm glad that I killed the other two out at your place last night. So am I. Say, uh, Matt, uh, hear that the citizens of Harker City have made you temporary sheriff. Well, I wanted the job. Now when I catch the crooks that killed Dad, it'll be the law and me talking at the same time. With a six-gun. Yeah, see what you mean. How about your ranch, Fiddleback? What about it? Do you intend to keep on running the ranch? Oh, sure. Why not? No, no reason. I've just been thinking there might be some way I could help you out. Well, how? Well, I'll buy the place, Matt. Give you 10000 cash. 10000 Well, that's a lot of money, Mr. Spencer. I didn't know you were interested in owning a ranch. Well, it isn't exactly that. It's... Well, I just want to help you if I can. Thanks, but I... Well, I don't want to sell. Well, anything you say. If you ever change your mind, the offer still holds. Thanks a lot, Mr. Spencer. Well, I must be going. I've got a lot of things to do. Congratulations on your new job, Sheriff. Thanks. Ten o'clock that evening, when Tonto and Dan returned to their camp and found the Lone Ranger waiting impatiently. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't dismount. We'll have some more riding to do. What did you find out at the assay office? A man say rocks got plenty good gold ore. I thought so. That proves my suspicions about Spencer. You mean he knew those rocks were gold ore? I'm sure he did. I disguised myself and went into town earlier this evening. I was in the cafe and overheard Spencer offer Matt Bartlett $10,000 for Fiddleback Ranch. That proves he knows there's gold on the land, something Matt and his father didn't know. Do you think it was him who killed the sheriff? I don't know, Dan. I do know he's planning a mass parade tonight. Uh, what does he want to have a parade for? To try to convince the people of Harker City that he should be appointed sheriff instead of Matt Bartlett. Golly. Here, Silver. By now, Matt is probably back at his ranch. We must reach him first and then stop that parade. Steady, big fella. Fiddleback isn't very far from here. Even so, we'll have to ride fast. Come on, Silver. Come on, Victor. Down, Scout. Oh, Silver. Hold on, Scout. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Easy, big fella. <clears throat> There's a light in the front room. He must be here. Masked? Who are you? If you think Don't you're going to... for your gun, Matt. I'm not an outlaw. How do you know my name? Never mind that. Do you know that Mort Spencer is trying to have himself appointed a sheriff in your place? Spencer is... Tr- what do you mean? He's hired men to parade in Harker City tonight. In hopes to convince everyone that it's a popular demonstration. Why... Well, even if that's true, there's nothing wrong in it. If the people want Spencer for sheriff, it's up to them. He tried to buy a fiddle back today. How did you know? And the reason he wants to buy it is because he knows there's a gold mine on your ranch. That's worth 50 times what he offered you. Gold mine? When Mort Spencer helped you and your father dig those graves yesterday, he discovered the ore. Samples of it have been assayed and proved. But I... Mort Spencer is trying to get your ranch and your job. You want to help stop him? Why, I don't know who you are, mister, but if what you say is true, I sure do want to help. Good. I see your horse is ground hitched out here. Come on. An Indian and a kid. Who are they? Friends of mine. City big fella. Come on. I'm ready. Come on, Silver. Get up there. Come Get on. Up. Sit down. We want a man for sheriff, not a kid like Matt Bartlett. We want more expensive. <laughs> Come on, everybody. A man for sheriff, Mort Spencer. There he is now. There's Mort Spencer. Speech. Give us a speech, Mark. Speech, Mort. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. I can't begin to tell you how much this popular demonstration has impressed me. I hadn't thought of becoming sheriff. But if you want me to take the job... Well, I'll be forced to accept your judgment. The only thing I regret is that your choice will force young Matt Bartlett out of a job. 
I'm more than sorry. We want that... real almond. Very well. I accept. Hey, 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 who's that? Matt Bartlett. Who's the critter wearing the mask? An outlaw? Who's the engine? Who's the kid? Go on, Matt. Tell them what you know. Now, listen to me, please. Quiet. I've just learned some things I think all of you ought to know. I'll tell you about them. Then if you'd rather have Mort Spencer for sheriff, it's up to you. First, I'm sure I know the man who murdered my father. It's the same man who tried to buy the Fiddleback Ranch for me today. Because he knows there's a gold mine on it. Well, who is it? It's the same man who's been robbing his own stage line for the past month. And who killed two of his own gunmen last night. He helped bury them yesterday afternoon. That's the man who wants to be the sheriff of Harker County. His name is Mort Spencer. Are you young No, you won't. My arm, I've been shot. You're lucky that it's only your arm. I'll leave it to all of you. If he isn't guilty, why did he try to pull a gun? Just a minute. I want to ask a question. What is it? Not to you. Spencer's the varmint I want to talk to. How about it, Mort? This kid says you killed two of your gunmen last night and buried them. Was that Red and Pete? I, uh... It was an accident, Kel. You dirty... Never mind, never mind. The law will take care of him. You're under arrest, both of you. That's the way to talk. Come on, Toto. Then our job is done. Mighty fine work, Matt. I guess Harker City is pretty lucky having two good sheriffs, one after the other, and both named Bartlett. You're right, sir. Thanks. Say, Matt, who was that mass critter who was doing all the fancy shooting? I wish I knew. The whole thing was his idea. I don't even know his name. I will sell you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.